Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is David A. Stone and welcome to another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Behind me is my kitchen here at Stonehaven that I built and now I'm gonna show you how I built it. This was back in 2016 and I never actually published these videos, so let's do this. So I got these free hung and what I noticed is that on this side I have a little stick out, on that side I have a little stick out. So I'm just going to take the frame off again, Yeah, I'm going to scoot it back three holes on this one and I'll just scoot it back one hole on this one. So I got those adjusted and now I have to put some braces inside of my cabinets and I have to fur these out where they're going to hit the edges. I have to dry fit a second time. I'm going to take this one over one more so it's not sticking out on the end. Now I'm going to take these half inch strips of cedar here, or I'm sorry, poplar. I'm going to take these half inch strips and I'm actually going to cut them down and uh, give the bottom of these cabinets something to support on. I'm going to cut these down into one foot sections. Twelve one foot sections. I marked a line, you can see it right here. That line is where this cabinet, this corner cabinet, uh, attaches. So I'm going to put this board here in between that line so that the cabinet can rest on this. And then I'll dry fit, the, and I'll put one on that side and I'll dry fit the cabinet one more time. I gotta have this one kind of overhang a little bit and I'm gonna drop it down. So I'm gonna secure this one like that. Time for another dry fit. Looks like I have to bring this bracket down a little bit to get this cabinet to sit straight. Um, it's not quite level. Drop that bracket. I'll get this leveled out. I got these other two supports screwed in. Uh, I got this uh, screwed in and I also added some 2x4 supports which I can screw directly to that piece of wood behind it to secure it into the wall. I did that on both sides. I put three screws from the top, three screws at the bottom. As you can see there and there. So I'm going to drill some holes later and just secure it down here at the bottom. I need to get some longer screws in order to do it though. Now I'm gonna hang the other two boxes up and we're gonna see how everything levels out and then I think we can go attach them all together tomorrow and start building the lowers. So this one, this brace needs to come out a little bit further. I'm 
The only thing left to do now is tie them all together as one piece. I kind of have a little small issue with the, the corner cabinet on the up, upper. And the issue is that this thickness of a half inch is a little bit too thick. Uh, so I actually have to shave off or trim out where it meets the door. Um, probably just a little bit at a time and see if it keeps, because it, it's got to sit a little bit further close to the wall, but it still needs a spacer. It just doesn't need this much space. So I got to shave off a little bit. So I got a couple ideas. Oh, looks like I can actually probably do it with this. See, there's no blade there. So if we kind of brought it just a little bit out, see if that'll notch it enough. So I put some grooves in it first and they actually, you know, did pretty nicely. I just notched it a little bit. And I'm just going to rip these grooves out of here. So I got a little notch there. Let's see if that makes the cabinet hang level. Let's see if that fits now. Oh yeah, that's it. Here's what I was looking at last night, is this cabinet was coming that way. So there was, this was touching down here and there was a, a little gap up in here. So I had to figure out how to fix that. And so I needed, in order to get the cabinet to lay a little bit further against that wall, that's why I had to notch this little board. So as you can see, it's flush. Well, you can't see that yet. As you can see, it's flushed, but this is that notched board that I just did. The edge of it is notched, so when this lays back, it can lay a little bit further back. And as you notice, now there's a solid line. Now I wanna check my level and see how we're doing. That's right there in the center, if you can see that. Let's see this side. Uh, it's in the middle of the bubble. <laughs> little bit off I mean barely so yeah now when they butt up against it's nice and clean you know what I I, I think this is gonna work for me <laughs> that bubble is like slight I'm trying to be very specific here but that bubble is like slightly not on level when I was holding it up to the side but underneath it is spot on and I'm gonna show you the bubble boom It's pretty level to me. And on the side of the cabinet, it's pretty level, but as you can see, it could be a little bit tweaked, but I think I'm okay with that amount of unlevelness. Before I hang this final upper, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with how these are turning out. Now once I hang the upper, the only thing left that I have to do, as long as this one uh, hangs properly, is um, secure them all together to make them one unit. And I'm not gonna do that step yet. I'm gonna wait on that step. I'm gonna start attaching the lowers, building out the sink bracket, and then building out this wall here. So I'll hang this cabinet, and then I'll show you something that I did last night too. So I got my uppers. Everything is looking amazing. I'm looking at the directions again, and it's telling me 32 and 3 16 is how far it needs to be at, to the bottom of the bracket. So I'm trying to find out how far I, up I need to mount the wood, because the bracket needs to mount to the wood. So I'm gonna do the same calculations I did for the top, which means uh, it was 84 and 9 16 for the top of the wood. So I'm gonna subtract 50 inches off that because this is 32 and 3 16 
that was 82 and 3 16 so that's all a 50 inch difference so if I subtract 50 inches from my other measurement of 84 and 9 16 I'll get 34 and 9 16 so I've been taking this tape measure and marking off 34 and 9 16 over here and then I marked it here and one more right there so I'm gonna take the level now and draw a, a line as level as I can get it and then I'm gonna drill the first hole in the cement Here's my notched wood. Got the notch there, the notch here. I just drilled some holes in it around the notches. I'm gonna set it up here and get ready to drill my first hole to set this thing in place. It's still level. Oh, baby. Well, I did good on that one. All right, now I gotta cut off all of the stubs of the, of the bolts. Wrong idea, Dave, bad idea. Especially working with metal, metal particles, I disobeyed my own rule. Forgot my safety glasses. Don't do that. See, it's really just a little nub, but that nub's gonna get in the way. that I have to do is I have to move this outlet up here so a few steps to do this first step is to turn off the electric at the panel and then once you do that we're going to disassemble this box I'm going to take a picture of the uh, connections on how the wires are connected to this thing just to make sure I do it correctly and then I'm going to take everything out unmount the box, take these mounts out, and just bring probably this tube here. I 
I'll have to figure it out. I might, I might need to get go cut a little bit longer too. But I have some connectors here that I can connect it with. Otherwise, it's gonna kind of sit right here, and I'd like it to sit like right here. And then I'll remount the box, and we'll go from there.